What is up, people? So I was watching Vimo's live stream the other day, and he had a conversation with this person called Chinmay Drishti, and there was a lot in that conversation. And he spoke about you know, Hinduism. He's a Hindu apologist, clearly from that video, and he also spoke about physics and theories we have in physics. and the big bang especially he doesn't believe in the big bang and he brings about the opinion of one physicist to say that the big bang did not happen or at least that's what he seems to be saying i don't know if he actually said those exact words but anyway overall vimo did a really good job you should go check the video out uh, the title of the video is on screen you can check it out on his channel but what i want to talk about is this one sentence he said in between in the whole argument that's what i wanted to talk about so let's play that oh, nobody knows i think nobody knows so the reason why big bang happened was it's like your origin story right this is the origin of the universe are you are you saying the big bang did not happen or are you saying uh, you know how the big bang happened do you uh, no no I, i i don't know if the big bang happened or not it's not been proven beyond doubt but the question that's what i wanted to talk about he said big bang happened is not something we know beyond any doubt it's not been proven beyond any doubt so here's what i want to say see in science in general or take anything any kind of study not just science anything that's based in reality you cannot prove things it's not like mathematics which is a self contained study about a bunch of things it's all self contained but science is not self contained it's a study of everything in the world it's a study of everything observable if you say that something needs to be proven beyond doubt before i believe it this is what that sounds like i'm going to give you an analogy imagine there's a court and it's about to convict you of murder now you can say that hey so what my fingerprints are on the murder weapon that only shows that i held the murder weapon it doesn't prove that i committed murder right or if the court says we have your dna at the crime scene you can say hey my dna in the crime scene only proves that i was there in the crime scene it doesn't prove that i committed the murder right you can say all that and try and make a case for yourself how you didn't commit that murder court doesn't need that it just needs convincing evidence that you one you have a reason to murder the guy and you have an opportunity to murder the guy and you had this motive to murder the guy if the court gets this it's convinced that you're the murderer it never knows 100% as in it doesn't have a video surveillance of the area where the murder was committed to know to 100% that you're the one who murdered it just needs convincing evidence the same way the big bang is something we have a lot of evidence for we have convincing evidence to tell us that the big bang actually happened that doesn't mean it's proven beyond doubt it just says that there's all this evidence that point in time where all matter was clumped together in a very minute space and then came forth from that point and that's what the big bang is when we have convincing evidence of this to say that i'm only going to believe it if it's been proven beyond doubt is a really stupid argument i hear similar arguments from christians who say hey evolution has not been proven beyond doubt it's not been proven beyond doubt because that's not how things work in science or with anything in reality you never ever prove anything beyond doubt you can only have convincing evidence for these things so that's what i want to say uh, go check out the video i'll show that on screen once again uh, go check out the video on his channel it's a brilliant conversation teaches you a lot about you know arguments the nature of arguments how to argue with someone you disagree and this one point that people sometimes overlook i just want to talk about that i'll see you in the next one see you